getting back to you after quite a long time. Never done videos at all for more than a year. But um, I just thought that this was an important video and I think uh, some of us need to understand as well. We all understand what's happening in Manipur, right? Manipur is burning for the last several weeks, almost a month. And uh, there's nothing much that we can all do, especially when we're in South India and uh, so far away. But nevertheless, about two days ago, I just had this feelings in my heart and mind of uh, trying to reach out to do something and uh, especially for kids education safety food protection so um, I just messaged a few of my Manipur friends how are you guys doing what's happening there and they said it's bad it's getting worse and um, I just mentioned I said hey is there anything that we could do for little children for their education and families who are displaced and I uh, didn't hear anything and but um, Today I got a message in the morning from one of our friends um, and she's based in Bangalore but she's from Manipur. She said, uh, I just heard there's a family that's come down and uh, they just reached uh, uh, last night and uh, they've come with kids and their houses have been burnt and everything destroyed and uh, they were staying in the jungle for several days and they walked 23 kilometers and got to another village and to another city and from there got a train and it's a mess. It's, it, it's just a nightmare. So, well, um, I got to know all this because just two hours ago, I, uh, me and uh, my wife and myself, we went to that family. They stay in Kotinur with the relative's house and getting to understand what happened there. And it's very heartbreaking, very, very heavy and uh, uh, kids watching people being killed and murdered and uh, girls being raped. It's just such a horrible nightmare for small children to be saying all these things. But anyways, long story short, I was just talking to them about trying to help uh, the kids' education and uh, what can we do. And um, they they just they just also in shock. They, they don't they don't even know how to answer me. They don't know what to do. And I said it's okay. Don't worry. We we'll, you can think about it and get back to me. And uh, in fact, I went uh, to the extent of saying you know we have a, a free room in our home. If the family wants to come and stay there, the kids can come and stay here and be happy. And so anyway, we opened our home and our building, and uh, but that's another point altogether. But as I was driving back and coming uh, with my wife, I just felt, uh, at least for now, I, um, I really need to reach out, at least for some provisions. He said there are 13 of them, two families with seven kids, 13 people arrived last night in this one guy's house. His name is Thang Boy, stays uh, near Krista Jainthi College in Bangalore. Went to Thang Boy and Thang Boy who used to be an Uber driver and lost his job and uh, he's the um, eldest brother of the people and says our culture uh, you know requires me as the eldest person of the family to take care of. So he says um, uh, 13 of them have arrived including my family almost 20 of them are staying in a small house and so it was uh, heart heartbreaking and so uh, had a good time with them spent time with them and I was coming back and I. I just felt in my heart that um, tomorrow I need to take them and just get them some groceries. And so I'm going to take them. We, we've got D-Mart here, very nice place, not very expensive. I'm going to take them and I, I just felt that I'm going to tell them, buy whatever you want for the month. Just go buy whatever you want and I'm going to pay the bill. So um, if, if you are in a place where you want to do something for Manipur that's burning and, and you don't know how to do it, uh, here's an opportunity. There's 13 people, seven kids and two families, parents have come down. Uh, I'm trying to see how I can get them into school. That's another story altogether, but um, trying to see how I can connect with education and uh, just to get their life started. You know, the, everything's burnt. Their certificates are burnt, everything. Aadhaar card, everything is gone. They don't, they don't have an identity right now. Guys, they don't have an identity right now. Um, I was just thinking we are all complaining, I don't have this, I don't have that, how I wish I have that. But here's situations where people have lost everything. I was looking at all the statistics and it says more than 100 people have been killed, uh, more than 300 injured, about 4,000 people have uh, been involved in arson. Uh, there's 3,700 FIRs filed in the state of Manipur. 3,700 FIRs in three to four weeks. The situation is bad there and um, we can't change um, Manipur but we can change one life at a time, one life at a time. But um, right now I have an opportunity that 13 people have arrived in this one home. I'm sure hundreds have arrived in Bangalore and other cities but uh, what I would know is 
few kilometers away from me, 13 people are there. I want to do something for their groceries, at least for this whole month. I want to do something for their education. I want to do something for the family. They're asking for jobs. They're not asking for money. They're saying, get us a job. Uh, we'll work, we'll earn, we'll supply, we'll take care of our family, we'll go from the start again. So um, if you know of places where they can get jobs, get in touch with me. Uh, if you want to contribute towards their groceries, get in touch with me. If you want to help them get into some school, get in touch with me. Uh, I'll put my number down there. Uh, we have a small NGO called The Hope Place and we've been helping uh, families, children, um, for the last seven to eight years, we've been doing this work uh, in the Kotanur and the Dodogubi area. Um, but uh, we're not looking at trying to change the world. We're trying to look at changing a life, one life at a time. And so if you if, if you really want to be part of this, um, you can directly send it to our NGO account, The Hope Place, I'll send you the details. Um, you want to Google Pay, whatever you want to do. But uh, anyways, Tomorrow I've decided I'm going to go take them and tell them buy what you want. Whether I get money, whether I don't get money, I'm not even bothered about it. But I think as humans we need to reach out to people. If you have the opportunity to reach out to someone, please go ahead and reach out. Maybe buy them a loaf of bread, maybe buy them a sack of rice. It doesn't matter. What matters is not trying to change the world. What matters is changing a life at a time. And every small thing that you and me do matters to them, it matters to God, it matters to society. At least let's not be talkers, let's be walkers. Let's walk the life, not just talk the life. And uh, I've had many people sometimes in the past say, um, I can't help much, really. I think everybody can help. I don't think anybody can say I can't help. It's not even an excuse. Seriously, guys, that's not even an excuse. Um, the only qualification to help is you need a heart to help and you need to, a mind to listen to that heart and the action to do it. So get in touch with me. If you have any doubts, call me, WhatsApp me. But um, I'm really going to go for this. And if I can make a difference in one life, I've made a difference in thousand lives. Because if that one life, I make a different difference. That life's going to grow up, be thankful, grateful, and that life is going to touch another thousand lives and say what happened to that life. So I've touched a thousand lives if I touch one life, but I've got an opportunity to touch 13 right now, and I want to do it. So I'm looking forward to you guys uh, for your ideas, your thoughts, your contributions, your help, your connections, your network, whatever it be. Uh, let's do what we can do in a small way, but make a big impact. So thank you so much. God bless you.